What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's Siren Frost here, coming at you guys with a video today. Now, this video today is this is my thoughts and reaction to the twenty, the September seventeenth, twenty eighteen ban list. Now, I know this list, has been, this video is like three days late because I have to run errands, I do my life, you know, you know, smack a bitch in the face, you know, you know the whole jazz kind of thing, you guys. And I never got the chance to. I did see this this list, and then I got it was like a holy shit kind of thing because I just probably woke up out of bed. I checked my, my email, or just thought something I saw on YouTube, and there's already been like some videos the night before, I'm like, I'm sorry, what? I'm like, what? So I'm like, you know what, I'll do a video about this, but it just never happened, until today. So guys, here's my, my thoughts and opinions about this band list here. So, and yes guys, I literally wrote it down on the list, because... Um, I want to get this prepared because I don't want to just scroll through my phone and, you know, read the, all of it to you and to, like, miss anything. So I make sure I got everything prepared, hopefully. Uh, <clears throat> so for Bitten, we have Samstar Lotus, Nightmare Goblin, and Emic Saber Invoker. So, I can see Nightmare Goblin being banned anyways because that extra link combo... Oh, Lord Jesus. But sometimes... You know, if you really think about it, you don't really, you didn't really need Goblin that much. Most people are using Goblin as a double summon additional, except by discarding one card. Except the downside is, and I learned this the hard way, Nightmare Goblin can only work well if you special summon the, or normal summon that monster in the pointer that he's pointed to. Fitting, you know, at least. But as far as Samsara Lotus and Emic Saber Invoker goes, I don't know. I assume that MX Saber Invoker is for Gokis because Gokis sometimes play those cards or Brain Abyss. But Samsara so Lotus, you guys, that flicks a thousand damage to you during the end phase of the turn. I don't know. I just don't understand why why that had to happen. It's it's kind of weird. Unless you know how to, unless you do a creature swap and then give Samsara Lotus to your opponent and then it and then they take the damage, which. You know, makes a lot of sense. All right. Anyways, that's the end of Forbidden list. Uh, Forbidden. Now on to Limited. We got eight Assault Core, Elemental Hero Stratos, Morphing Jar, Heavy Metal Foes, Electromite, Cyframe Lord Omega, Evil Swarm, Zyton Knight, Car Destruction, Sky Shiger, Mega Hornet Drone, Super Polymerization, and a Hero Lifts. Okay. You know what? Let's just spill the fucking tea right now about this whole, this list here because. And I know everyone is all hype and happy about Elemental Hero Strauss being off the list, finally. But everyone's calling him like the savior, you know, a salvation for Elemental Heroes. Okay? Well, here's my thoughts. I'm really glad you guys are got your monster back. Because most of you guys are Elemental Hero fanboys, but it's whatever. On that one, because most of us just don't give a flying fuck about that monster. Now, it does have an ability that you can add one hero monster from your deck to your hero card. Is it a card or a monster? Let me just double check this before I completely butcher it. Like, oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's go for Stratos. There we go. Okay, it says add one monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, but this is only working if this card is special, normal or special summon. So you only activate one of these effects. So you gotta choose. But I think some people will use the, um, the adding part, but sometimes they'll use this the story spell or trap cards in the field up to the number of hero monsters. So if you only have like maybe one or two monsters, like two elemental heroes or two hero monsters, you can destroy two of your opponent's spell and trap cards or your own, whatever you want to do. But guys, he's just another monster. Like he's not that big of a, de big of a deal. Like I don't get why you guys have to hammer all that in. Okay, there it goes. But I don't know, you guys. Stratos, he's really not that big of a deal, in my opinion. I'm sorry, but he's not. Now, Morphing Jar, Card Destruction. Oh, yeah. I'm happy about those two coming back. Because Morphing Jar lets you discard your entire hand when he's flipped over and lets, you draw, and lets both people draw five new cards. So, this may be a give and take kind of thing because this may help out your opponent, too, from his plays, his or her plays. And so does card destruction. Like, you can discard your entire hand and then draw the same amount of cards. 
But for me, this goes perfectly well in, in Trick Stars because the more your the more your opponent draws, the more damage is going to burn. So it's so I'm playing might want to try these guys out in my Trick Star deck to see how they're going to run. I just got to get them one from Jarvis Racing. Uh, as for the other ones, Electromite and Omega, you know, I don't like cards getting ban getting ban randomly banned from my hand, which no one doesn't like that. And Electromite, I feel like she's been totally abused in Pendulum decks because of her ability to destroy a Pendulum monster, add one Pendulum spell a trap card from the deck to her hand, I assume on that one, and then draw a free card, and then make these broken-ass plays, and you can still use Electromite as a link material for another one, and... Is that one per turn? I gotta double check. But, anyways, Exciton Knight. Um, it's a very thin card, you know. Some people like him because um, if your opponent like Psalm Strikes, not, I don't think they can counter a counter trap. Let me just think of an example here. If they do a scapegoat chain, um, Exciton Knight destroy up to destroy all cards and all monsters in the field. I assume that was the case. I don't know. But I got I to gotta look them up after this, you guys. I don't want to butcher this whole thing completely. Uh, Mega Horror Drone. Yeah, I see a lot of abuse with the the tokens part. At least get Link Spider, Link Rebo, or Kigari, or Shizuku, or Hayate. And then sometimes they go into like the Saruja plays with that combination. Now, I would have known because I did play Horror Drone in my Sky Trigger Trickstar deck. But... It just didn't work out for me. It just is not my kind of gig. It's not that I'm against that card. It's just... No. It's just... No. It just doesn't work out for me. It did for a little while. It's just... Without the engages and the um, afterburner and the Widow Anchor, my deck wasn't up to snuff to the point that it was going to do very well. well. What is she doing? What is she doing? How did she get inside? Oh, boy. Sorry, my dog is like almost getting near the, the garden again. Uh, Super so Polymerization and a Hero Lives. Now, I think they brought Hero Lives. I don't know if it was ever banned or anything, but a Hero Lives is a combo for uh, Stratos as well. Or any other hero deck. But Super Polymerization. Now, guys, let me ask you this, this question, because I don't know. I know Polymerization, Super, po Super Polymerization lets you discard one card from your hand and you can fusion summon one fusion monster by using your opponent's monster and your monster as materials. Now, here's my question. If you, if, oh, sorry guys, I'm a little tongue tied from this. I'm a little excited. Do you use your opponent's monster and your monster to summon like Evil Hero, Inferno Wing, or um, Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, or a Cyber Blader? Does, or does it have to be a spe specific generic fusion monster of any kind whatsoever? Because I don't know about this, you guys, because I'm a little iffy about it. So, if you guys know the answer to that one, feel free to comment down below because I personally do not know. I just, I'm giving you guys a real tea right here. I do not know at all. Now, semi-limited, we got Com Cosmo Dark Destroyer, Call of the Grave, Limited Removal, Scapegoat, and Terraforming. Okay, so Call of the Grave, I can see totally why they limited to two because three is a little too cloggy in my personal opinion. But people, I think, res resource to Call by the Grave a little too much because of the whole Ash play got, or the, the Hand Trap plays. Because now everybody is using a lot of Hand Traps. And there are some cards like Lily Bell or Honest that you you know, you know, can just banish. Because Honest is, is very typically a Hand Trap. It's very much a Hand Trap. <laughs> and personally for me, though, I'm only running two anyways because three is a little too cloggy. I'm sorry, but it's just too cloggy. Limited removal, I'm guessing Cyber Dragons and ABCs, those two decks right there. And then we got Scapegoat and Terraforming. I only run two Scapegoat and Terraformings anyways because this actually worked pretty well for me. Just because, you know, like some people, I don't run all three Terraformings like I used to. But that just made my deck a little too cloggy because I had more options to use other different cards. And Scapegoat alone does the same thing for me. But since I don't use, like, my Misty is Radiant anymore... I use like Link Kribo or Link Spider around those. And this will actually help you out with your uh, Saruja plays too. Because you can just go Link to the other, to one token, one other token, and two di tricks are with different names and then go straight into Saruja. So we got Saruja plays here and then the adding, you know, adding your field spell like Light Stage or um, Combo Town or something, you know, just 
those things. So this list, I can't speak no ill will about it because this is not even that bad. Now, no longer on the list, so everything's back unlimited, is, is a Quill 4 Tower, Destiny Hero, Disc Commander, Burial from a Different Dimension, and Ring of Destruction. A Quill 4 Tower is the one that doesn't let you, um, can't be sure by card effects, right? Is that the, no, 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 I don't want Snapchat, I, I just, I don't want Instagram. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Ow. Here, let me just look up, look, look them up, because... I don't want to butcher this video completely. Ah, here it is. Okay, so cannot be special summon requires three quill tributes to normal summon set or set in. If this card is normal summon or set, it is unaffected by spell trap trap effects and be activated effects and by activated effects from any monster whose original level or rank is lower than this card's current level. So level ten. That's that's kind of shitty. That's very shitty indeed. But, so this card is basically the most strongest one in the bunch. All special summon monsters lose 500 attack and defense. Once per turn, you can make your opponent's hand send one monster from their hand or their side of the field to the graveyard. Their choice. Uh, so this is slowly burning you, your hand, depleting your hand, destroying your cards, and making this thing completely invincible. Yeah, can't relate to it. I fucking hate it already. I, I've i always had issues with the Quill Forts in general just because how broken their combos can be and their effects can be. And it's kind of hard to keep up. And I don't think most of these are one per turn except for this guy. I think... Is he one per turn? Yeah, he's only one per turn on one effect. But the rest, no. <laughs> this commander lets you draw two cards, which I can... That's kind of good, you know? We're starting getting back to that age where people can now freely draw cards. Next thing you know, they're going to unban Grateful Charity and Pot of Greed in the future set. But I also heard from, from I watched a video last night on Mega Capital G explain that he might think Maxi might be coming out at the end of this list, at the end of this month. If Maxi gets off, I'm going to go pick up my one copy of a Secret Rare Maxi, which I love Secret Rares more than anything because I hate ulti rares. And I'm gonna put that thing back in my deck and make my deck that much good because drawing is what makes me a little bit happier with this game. Because you can just draw some cards for once. And then Ring of Destruction. Ring of Destruction? No. Yeah. So, anyways, I am also happy about Ring of Destruction just because I can now inflict more burn damage and destroy my one opponent's monster that is stronger. And yes, sure, I take the damage too, and then so does my opponent. But if you can actually get rid of his life points completely, can't relate. That'd be a pretty much broken thing. Barrel from a different dimension. Oh my god. So can you just say like bend me over and just take my like shove and take my money already? Because um, I have a few few ideas why they brought these cards back in the three. And who the fuck is texting me? I'm trying to preach the Lord of Jesus. There we go. Um, Burial from a different dimension is like there's a lot of Mayakashis are coming out. Sharamwees are coming out. Um, I guess zombie decks are going to be using the shit out of this too. Plus there's also cards that lets you banish cards. So you can actually use this to bring back one of those banished monsters. And just link with them like create link with them. Or synchro or whatever you want to do. Whatever you tickle your pickle. I don't care. And yeah you guys. That's just pretty much my thoughts and opinions about this whole list. Like I can't think of anything, like, anything of this. Because half is like, uh, you know, it's good, not it's good, it's not bad. At least you like questioning, like, what the fuck is happening here? Like, if you guys know reasons why some of these cards aren't even on this list, there will be a full this list here in in the description down below. Just letting you guys know, and just give you guys thoughts and opinions about this because this is like, um, yay, nay, no, I don't know. But anyways, guys, that's my list, my my thoughts and opinions on the whole listing because I don't know what to really say. Like, I thought I was going to be excited about this whole thing, but now I'm just questioning all of it. The only good thing I'm seeing on this list right now is because you all thought Trickstar's going to get hit or Goki's going to get hit. Sucka, it's not. <laughs> so I'm happy about that completely. And you guys are going to have to deal another few months with Trickstar's. So have fun with that.
And, but the downside is, I'm like thinking right now, equip Fort Towers and Combo Dark Destroyer. Kill me. Just shut up and just bend me over and just kill me. I don't care. Just bend me over on that one. But, yeah. Morphing Jar. Card Destruction. Super Polymerization. Disc Commander. I gotta say, it's not bad. You know, those cards, I can definitely use to utilize those cards, but the rest, no. I have no clue. But anyways, guys, that's my thoughts. And if you guys have your own personal thoughts with this list, and you know, feel free to, to comment down below. And yeah, guys, that's my own thoughts today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I completely butchered everything. My dumbass should have been more prepared for this. But it's like almost near noon, and so like I'm just so tired. And so I'm going to get some cup of coffee, and I'll catch you guys later in the next video. But be sure to uh, please subscribe, like this video, thumbs up for it. And always leave your guys' thoughts and opinions on your comment section down below. So see you guys. Bye.